The first factor, the size of atom or ion. The ionization energy decreases if the increasing of size of the atom. The larger the size of the atom, lesser is the ionization energy. This is due to the fact that electrons are tightly held in smaller atoms. Whereas in large atoms, the electrons are held quite loose. Therefore, lesser energy is required for removal of electrons from larger atoms than the smaller one. Hence, ionization energy is lower for larger atoms and higher for smaller atoms. Let's look into the size of the atom or ion. These things we have seen it. The next one is magnitude of nuclear charge. The higher the nuclear charge of protons in the nucleus, the higher is the ionization energy. Because of the higher nuclear charge, the electrons are bound with more force and hence higher energy will be required for their removal. So, this is your proton and this is your neutrons and uh, this is the electrons. For instance, magnesium has a higher nuclear charge, 12 protons, as compared to sodium, which is having 11 protons. Hence, ionization energy in case of magnesium is higher as compared to sodium. Similarly, the ionization energy of a fluorine is more than that of oxygen. So, is it equal to for fluorine 9 is the atomic number 1 is 2, 2 is 2, F, X for 2, Y is 2, Z is 1. It is having more nuclear charge than oxygen, Z equal to 8. 1 is 2, 2 is 2, here 2, here 1 and 1. In both the cases, the electrons have to be removed from the same 2P subshell. The next one is like the effect of number of electrons in the number shells and inner shells. This is another factor. So, we have to discuss uh, about the shielding effect first. The attractive force exerted by the nucleus on the mostly loosely bounded electron is at least partially counterbalanced by the repulsive forces exerted by the electrons present in the inner shells. So, the electron to be removed is thus shielded from the nucleus by the electrons in the inner shell. Thus, the electron in the valence shell experiences less attraction from the nucleus. You are able to see it here. From here, the attraction is reduced. You are able to see it here. So, hence ionization energy will be really low. This is another reason why ionization energy decreases in moving down a group. The effect of shape of the orbital. The shape of orbital also influences the ionization potential. Here is the S orbital. This one is P orbital. As S electrons remain closer to the nucleus than P, D and F of electrons of the same valence shell, the ionization energy decreases in the order given. So, S is greater than P, P is greater than D, D is greater than F. You are able to, I can show you the orbital formation. The typical example is hydrogen. Here is a small example of the effect of shape of orbital.
For instance, the first ionization energy of aluminium is lower than that of magnesium. The electronic configuration of magnesium is 1s2, it's neon, followed by 3s2. And that of aluminium is neon, 3s2, 3p1. Thus, 1 has to remove 3p electron in case of aluminium and 3s electron in the case of magnesium. It is easier to remove the 3p electron from the aluminium when compared to s electron in magnesium. Thus, the ionization energy of aluminium is lower than magnesium. The effect of arrangements of electrons. This is another factor of ionization energy. The more stable the electronic arrangement, the greater is the ionization energy. As the noble gases have the stablest electronic arrangements, they show maximum ionization energy. Helium, Neon, Argon, Krypton, Xenon, Radon. So these are all inert gases.